Hi everyone and welcome to this Jet Tabs tutorial. In this video, we'll be having a look at how to add tabs to your page with the help of Jet Tabs plugin. So in the Elements panel, you find the Tabs widget. This is how it should look and you drop it onto your section. So here is the Tabs pop-up in default design and you go to the Items tab and you have a look at what you have in every single tab. So the first thing I wanted to show you is that now in Jet Tabs, you can choose what kind of content you want to put in each tab. It can be either a template or a text editor. So if you choose editor as the content type, you can work in a regular elements or text editor, in the visual mode or in text mode. If you choose a template, you can put a template inside a tab. Now let me show you really quickly how you can create a template. So go to your dashboard and find Elementary in the left sidebar menu. Go to My Templates. And here you can either import a resume template or add a new template. Here select what template type you want to use. And there you type in the name. And you click Create Template. And now it takes you to the Elementor editor where you can start creating your template. So I want to create a two column layout with an image on the left the heading and the text editor on the right. All right, let this be it. And I click publish. So all of my changes are saved. And now I have saved my template and I go back to the Elementor editor where I have created my tabs. I'm going to update and refresh this page. So now I will see my template in here that I have just created. Okay, so now select the uh, template content type and in the choose template dropdown, scroll down and find uh, the template that you have created and here it goes you have added a template to your tab so right from here you can go ahead and edit this template you see this button here and let's just have a look what are the options and settings we have in the items tab for every single tab so you can make one of the tabs active it means that this tab will be opened right away before the user even doing anything or clicking on any tab. For example, you want to make the second tab opened right away. And you simply choose that this tab will be active. This is how it works. So use image. You see that you have an icon there next to the label of every single tab. If you switch using image on, you'll be able to put an image instead of this icon right there next to the label. So here is where you put this image. And you also have an option to remove the icon at all. So here you type in the label. Now let me put uh, that same template into other tabs. And in the third tab, I leave some text, just some text. I'll put it in the content editor. And as you see, you can go on and add more items, but we'll go on to the settings tab. And here we can choose the animation effect that will be applied to the tab once it is opened by the user. So now I have to click. And, and the tab opens by sliding up. You can change this effect, just choose one from this drop down list. And the tabs event, here you have two options, click or hover. And depending on what you choose, you'll be able to open a tab either by clicking or by hovering over. Now I'm simply hovering over the label of the tab and you see that the tab opens once I hover my cursor over the label. And you can also enable the auto switch, so the tabs will be switching automatically. And here is uh, the auto switch delay. Then you go to the style tab, where you have the general style settings for the container itself, where you can change the tab's position. Now the tabs are positioned at the top, but you can also put them on the left. And here is uh, the tabs control width. So you can make this area bigger or smaller. And you can also 
position them on the right. But I leave them at the top for now. And let's move on to the tabs control. What's interesting here is that here you can set the tabs alignment. Tabs control item allows you to control the style settings for the label and for the icon or the image you are using next to the label. It can also work with the style styles. Here you see them. And some general style settings for the tabs content. And here you go, you have created tabs with the help of JetTabs plugin. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.